Nestled along the picturesque California coast, the Monterey Peninsula is a must visit destination. This coastal gem offers something for just about everybody. From the world renowned Monterey Bay Aquarium to the sweeping views along the 17 mile drive, there are countless top notch attractions and activities for you to partake in. I live in the East Bay and we love visiting the iconic California location as much as we can. We just returned from a busy weekend exploring our favorite spots in Monterey. I am so excited to share with you all of the tips and tricks we have learned from our many visits over the years, such as the best places to eat, where to stay, and the top 10 things to do in Monterey for the ultimate day or weekend on California's Central Coast. I am going to start off this top 10 list with my favorite thing to do in Monterey, which is drive the scenic 17 mile drive through Pebble Beach and Pacific Grove. The world famous route winds through the impressive Del Monte Forest and features breathtaking natural beauty. You will drive along the coastline and experience magnificent views of the ocean, rugged coastal cliffs, sandy white beaches, multi-million dollar homes, like some of them seriously look like castles and a legendary golf course, Pebble Beach Golf Links. Admission to the 17 mile drive is $11.25 per vehicle. Once you pay and enter the drive, you will get a map that highlights 17 stops along the way. We always love stretching our legs and dipping our toes in the Pacific at Spanish Bay Beach. Another stop we love is the Restless Sea, the most turbulent section of coastline at Pebble Beach where you can be mesmerized by the crashing waves and wild Pacific Ocean. Another must is stopping to view the lone cypress tree. The famous cypress tree has existed on a rocky pedestal overlooking the ocean for the last 250 years. After a day of exploring, you can grab a bite to eat at one of the dining options at the lodge at Pebble Beach or the inn at Spanish Bay. The gate fee is reimbursed with a purchase of $35 or more at all Pebble Beach restaurants. If you think of Monterey, probably the first thing that comes to mind is the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The Monterey Bay Aquarium is a special place. No wonder it is one of the best, if not the best, aquariums in the country. If you have a love for marine life, then a visit to the Monterey Bay Aquarium is an absolute must. This famous aquarium is home to sea otters, an unbelievable kelp forest, sharks, mesmerizing jellyfish, a giant Pacific octopus, and thousands of other sea creatures. Make sure to buy your tickets in advance to avoid waiting in line. The aquarium can get extremely crowded, especially in the mornings and during the summer months. If you can, try to visit during the week and come between the hours of 2 to 6 p.m. After your visit to the aquarium, take a stroll along Cannery Row, the historic waterfront district. If this is your first, second, or third time visiting Monterey, Stopping by Cannery Row is always a must. The main strip is very touristy, but it's still fun to check out and learn more about the history of this area. In the 1850s, Cannery Row was a bustling sardine canning district and was known as the sardine capital of the world. However, over the years, the canning and fishing industry declined due to the area being overfished and the lack of sardines. Since then, all of the waterfront canneries were brought back to life and transformed into oceanfront restaurants, hotels, souvenir shops, and the renowned Monterey Bay Aquarium. Enjoy a walk, bike ride, or pup walk on the Monterey Bay Coastal Recreational Trail. The trail starts at Lover's Point Park and stretches for 18 miles along the coast with many popular attractions along the way, including Cannery Row, Monterey Bay Aquarium, and Old Fisherman's Wharf. What we like to do is hop on the coastal trail from Cannery Row and follow the trail as it weaves through town until you reach Breakwater Cove Marina, also known as Coast Guard Pier. This stretch of beach is a popular scuba diving and local fishing spot. However, if you walk a little further to the pier, you can get an up close look and smell of some sea lions. During low tide, you can catch the sea lions sunning and relaxing on the rocks next to the pier. Transport yourself back in time by visiting the historic Old Fisherman's Wharf. Once a bustling fishing port, Monterey's Old Fisherman's Wharf is now a small stretch of family-owned seafood restaurants, souvenir shops, whale watching tours, and bay cruises. And if you have a sweet tooth, you can find handmade fresh saltwater taffy, specialty chocolates, oversized lobby pops, and many more yummy treats. My favorite part about the Old Fisherman's Wharf is the views overlooking Monterey Bay. 
relax and grab a drink at one of the waterfront restaurants and enjoy this beautiful view. Yes, it is very touristy, but a visit to Monterey is not complete without strolling along Old Fisherman's Wharf. I still find the wharf to be a fun and charming location and worth a visit. If you've ever been interested in doing a whale watching tour, then Monterey is the best place to do it. Known as the whale watching capital of the world, Monterey Bay is a premier whale watching destination. A whale watching tour is such an incredible experience and an opportunity to see these majestic mammals up close. Also keep your eyes peeled for other marine life like dolphins and sea lions. The tours depart from the pier at Old Fisherman's Wharf. I linked a highly rated half day whale watching tour that leaves from Monterey below. We typically like to stay in Old Monterey at the Portola Hotel and Spa. Old Monterey is the heart of historic downtown. It's close enough that you can reach some of the main attractions like Old Fisherman's Wharf and Cannery Row by foot, but you still feel like you are tucked away from all of the hustle and bustle. Also, there are so many amazing restaurants, wine bars, and cafes that are just footsteps away on Alvarado Street. Three must-visit spots in Old Monterey are Alta Bakery, located in downtown Monterey at the historic Cooper Molero Adobe, Alta Bakery is a must for breakfast, pastries, and coffee. Everything is locally grown and made with fresh and seasonal ingredients. I ordered their smoked salmon toast, so, so delicious. And we also got a chocolate croissant. It's kind of what they are known for. I wish I had my husband's reaction when he took that first bite. The chocolate inside of the fluffy croissant is so gooey and so smooth. They have a beautiful outdoor seating area surrounded by gardens. A welcoming atmosphere, yummy pastries and food, and great coffee, I will definitely return again. For dinner, we actually tried out a few spots in this area. Our favorite was Alejandro's, an upscale Mexican restaurant serving unique cocktails and elevated Mexican cuisine. Inside had a really cool and chic vibe to it. Lastly, ice cream. Truly one of the best ice cream shops I've ever been to. Which I know, that's saying a lot. Why I love it? All of their ice cream is made from scratch, from fresh and locally sourced ingredients. They have unique and innovative flavors, vegan options, awesome toppings like porch marshmallow, and great speedy service. Did you know that Monterey also is great for wine tasting? Monterey County is one of the largest wine regions in California. With its unique microclimate, the region produces over 32 varietals of wine. They are specifically known for their Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. You can do some wine tasting at the tasting rooms along Canary Row. Atisa Monterey offers wine tasting with the view. The oceanfront tasting room and bistro features expansive views of the Monterey Bay. Another location that is worth visiting along Monterey's peninsula is the small and adorable beach town of Carmel by the Sea. Carmel is known for its fairy tale like cottages, beautiful white sand beaches, and thriving art scene. Spend your afternoon walking along the enchanting streets filled with art galleries, boutiques, wine tasting rooms, and gourmet restaurants, or catch an unbelievable sunset at Carmel Beach and soak in the breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean. Point Lobos State Natural Reserve is a nature's lover's paradise, often referred to as the crown jewel of the California State Park System. Point Lobos boasts dramatic cliffs, turquoise waters, amazing coastal hikes, and an abundance of wildlife. That's a wrap on the top 10 things to do in Monterey. What's your favorite Monterey destination? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.